Um, you know, we knew uh, coming into this, obviously through OTAs and um, mini camp, that uh, you know defense was going to be a was going to be a problem. So, um, you know, those guys up front, they're working. Um, they got great coaches, uh, great players up there, and so you know we know that there's a. Uh, there's going to be some opportunities for us on the back end because of it. There's a lot of new guys on the roster. How do you help get them up to speed? You know, there are new guys on the roster, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like that. Um, you know, we obviously have our, our guys that have been around here for the last five, six years, um, then sprinkle in a, you know, a few other guys. But it, it really doesn't feel like there's, you know, that many new guys on the roster. So, um, you know, coming back here, just, it just feels like home. You know, everyone's joking around, having fun, making fun of each other. And that's how it's always been. Well, I think that training camp is more of like just a mental grind, the mental grind, and also you know coming together as a team. Um, you know, throughout OTAs and, and mini camp, you know you can you're there for a few hours, you know you're hanging out and stuff like that. But um, you know we're here all day, every day, working out, um, practicing together, which is you know tough. Um, usually it's you know hot, but you know the weather's taking care of us, and and then you know from there having meetings all day and. Uh, in between meetings, you have breaks, so you you know can hang out with guys, play cards, get to know people, get to know young guys. Um, and at night, you know you have snack and all that stuff too. So you're just around each other all the time. And then once we get into the dorms, we're also you know hanging out, doing the same thing. Yeah, I heard you know I heard guys upstairs yesterday arguing about ping pong um, and and all that type of stuff. So that's just what we do, and you know it's just it's fun to be around everybody and and get to uh, get to know everyone, and that's what training camp's for. Uh, what more have I learned? Um, I don't think I've learned anything more necessarily. I think, you know, first day I met him, you could tell he's just a, a young guy that's listening and wants to get better. Um, that's how he's been these, these first couple of days. Um, you know, he's he's all ears. He wants to know. He wants to learn from the older guys of, of, of how to get better and what to do. Um, so I don't think I've learned anything anything new. It's just been, you know, that's just, that's just how he is. Um, whether if it's meetings, he's... He's sitting next to us. He's asking us questions um, on the field after each play. He's asking us questions. So, um, you know, I, I think that's a young guy, um, you know, asking the older guys, you know, uh, you know how they go about business, whether if it's after after uh, practice, you know, getting some work in or or extra film work, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that uh, I think with Kay, he's he's been fortunate enough to be put in a position, you know, to whether it's you know, the coaches that we have in the secondary on defense, um, or even the players, you know, he's he's able to step in right now with some guys that have been together for a long time, and and so he hears what we're talking about, he hears how we see things in meetings, and so um, you know he can paint the picture himself, and just by asking the questions that he asks. So um, I think I, I think you know I can't speak for him, but I feel like you know if I'm a young guy in his position, I'd be real fortunate to, to step in that position and. Um, we're not asking him to be, you know, anything that he's not. Just go out there and play your ball. He's going to have mistakes. Every rookie does. My rookie year, um, you know, I made a lot of mistakes, but as long as you learn from those mistakes, you'll be fine. Micah, this might be a better question for the coaches, but just being a leader in this secondary, how do you guys balance, you know, maybe not putting too much on his plate right away and not putting too much pressure on him, but also there is a need for him to get up to speed um, honestly, everybody has a sense of urgency. Um, you know, I feel like with him, obviously being a young guy, like you said, get up to speed quick. Myself playing at a high level like I've been able to do. Same thing for Poe, same thing for Travis, Taryn, everybody. So we all have our things that we have to work on. Um, and, I, and I can honestly say when I step on the football field with those guys, um, I don't feel like I have to be anything I'm not. Just play my box. I know they're going to take care of their business. So, you know, it's kind of like the, the – um, um, thing that calms me down when I get out there. So I think that same thing for him. Like, just go out there and, and play your ball and, you know, uh, know the defense. As long as you know the defense, is going to put you in a position to make plays. And, you know, from there, you got to win your one on ones. Um, so that's just what we're telling him. Mike, played tens of thousands of snaps What's it like when Jaquan's out there with You know, it's obviously it's not, you know, 10,000 snaps, but. Quan's been here for a while. Um, you know, he's been in the meetings with us. He's talked ball with us plenty of times. Um, you know, obviously a great player also. So, you know, when he steps in, we don't skip a beat. You know, we all we all learn from each other. We all talk um, as if, you know, it's just me and Poe out there. So, 
Um, Quan's really coming along. I think he has a lot to show in this, uh, you know, this season, um, and I'm excited for him. Um, I feel like with, with Maine, um, obviously he's a sideline to sideline guy, can make tackles and all that type of stuff. I, I know that, um, you know, himself in, in past years, he's um, talked about, you know, obviously catching the football and, and making plays that way. But, you know, working on the jugs and stuff with him, um, even in, you know, these last couple of days in training camp, you can tell he's been doing that. Um, and not just him, Milano, too. Like, you know, we do the, the, the jugs a lot during the season. And, you know, they've, they've kind of picked up on what we've been able to do. So um, I know those plays will come. You know, you can't force them. You can't get out of position to try to make those plays. Just stay within the defense. And, um, you know, Maine's going to be a, a huge playmaker for us like he always like he always has been. Like Sean talked earlier about how difficult it would be for a guy like Nasher Evans going through the contract stuff for the first time. But someone like yourself has been through it a couple of times and Jordan going through it now mm -hmm. for the third time. How much easier does that get? Um, I, I think that, you know, at the end of the day, you always got to understand this is a business. Um, you know, we, we're all – we're all guys that have been playing football our entire life for the, the, the fun of the game. And then you get put in the position that you have to take care of your family and, you know, you have to do what's best for yourself. It's it's a very awkward thing to, to be a part of, not to mention, you know, negotiations with your, you know, agent and front of all that type of stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of a weird situation to be in because we've never really is, been in that position for the first time, like you said, those guys. Um, but at the end of the day, you kind of just got to put your head down and do what you've been doing your entire life, and that's just play football. Like you can't really worry about that stuff. Um, you know your your agent and and um, you know guys in the front office are going to take care of it. So you can't really pay attention to it. Right, how has your approach has been from addressing camp from your rookie year up to now? You know, what's, what's that approach been? Hmm. Well, rookie year, I was just trying to just survive. <laughs> I was just trying to make it. Um, I I didn't really know anything. I was just you know out there just trying to. Trying to make some plays um, now, you know. I think I, I've developed a routine throughout the last couple of years to to be able to put me in a position. You know, come training camp to mentally and physically get ready for football. Um, and I still understand that it's a process. Now until the end of the season, it's a process. Like I'm gonna make mistakes now, even though it's year ten. I'm gonna still make mistakes, but um, you know, I think that I'm able to to pick up on them. You know, a lot quicker, just being in year ten. But. Um, yeah, I, you know, it, that was such a long time ago that it's it's hard to even, you know, remember half this stuff. But I was trying to survive then. Now I'm trying to, um, you know, make plays, continue to be in that process, and get the guys around me better. Is that competitive edge still the same? Yes, it is, 100%. It might even be worse. Um, it might even be worse just because I know, you know, you know, if football is a uh, football is a game you don't play for, for 30 years. Um, and so I have that urgency now that I, I – and I told you guys this last year, I, I want to win a Super Bowl. A lot of my my friends um, have rings. Uh, you know, I see guys that I work out with that have that have rings, and you know, I'm I'm competitive. I'm, I feel like I work harder than those guys, and they got rings, so I feel like I should I should have one. Which so, um, what was that? Which friend is most eager to show you the ring? Uh, I'm not gonna put guys on blast. <laughs> I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna put put guys on blast. But um, you know, there's a few guys that that have some rings that you know aren't afraid to uh, to talk about it. And um, just the whole experience, and you know, I understand it. You know, I, I know that if, uh, uh, well, when one day, you know, I get one, I'm not gonna shut up about it either. So uh, I understand. Michael, what's your advice to the young guys once the pads go on? Um, Tempo picks up and it gets more serious. Uh, it's it's football. You know, we we've, we've all played football our entire lives. Um, it's football. Just go out there and use your hands, play smart, good eyes still. And and do what you've been doing. It's 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 nothing different. Michael, we see little parts of Trey's rehab, so we kind of get a little gauge physically where he's at. With your conversations, knowing how close you guys are, where is he at mentally with with, with the progress and him knowing that he probably wants to be out there week yeah. one, but, but you know has to trust his body. Uh, I think Trey Davis is also one of the co most competitive people I've been around. Um, nothing but love for him. I see how hard he's working right now. Um, I think it's. You know, I, I told you guys back in OTAs that um, I put every penny on Trey Davis. I, I would bet on that guy any day of the week. Um, just you know, I've seen how how hard he works, um, but also it, it it is a process. Like I don't think anybody can, um, even myself coming to training camp, you can't step on the field day one and 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 be you know 
first team All Pro. Um, you got to you got to build up to it. I think the same mindset for him. He's not going to step on the field, you know, once he gets back and and be you know the 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 lockdown shutdown corner. I, I hope he is. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he did. But um, you know, I think it's going to be a process for him also, and physically and mentally. So um, that's kind of the conversations we had. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. Mikey, you talked about that mental work, that mental prep that goes into training camp. Does it make it any easier knowing not to bring up the college campus thing again, but like, does it make it any easier knowing that you're kind of getting back to those college days, those roots? Did you trash talk in some ping pong with teammates, anything like that? Um, you're saying does it does it make camp easier? A little bit, yeah. Uh, you know, camp is like I said, a mental grind every year. You can't really. Uh, you're not going to be able to prepare for it during the off season um, for for camp. So uh, it, I don't think it makes it any easier. It's it, at the end of the day, it's fun to come out here and compete. And as long as you're competing, whether if you're winning or losing, you, we're all learning, trying to get better. So um, I don't think it makes it any better. We talked a lot about Tyre, but obviously now you're seeing Jackson. You talked about him being highly complimentary. Kind of what do you see from the team? Always willing to work. Um, another guy that's in our secondary that just is. Um, just willing to work and willing to get better. Um, he's asking questions every day, also, and you know, kind of a guy that doesn't get a lot of a lot of praise um, and and uh, and all that. But you know, I, I think as a person, as a player, um, definitely nobody better. I love Dane uh, for what he's what he's able to do for this football team, and he's going to continue to compete and go out there and and be himself. Oh, that's a tough question. Um, Lil Dirty is loud, but he's like precise with it. Like he 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 knows when to say something to me to to get me going. Tim's just always loud. Um, so I, I, yeah, I think Tim wins the cake for being the loudest, but the most annoying, Lil Dirty for sure. Is yeah. Competition for most annoying, or does he win that? No, no, he he's in the league of his own. <laughs> yeah, he's in the major leagues for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think Maine's always had an old soul, just in general. Like, he got drafted at, what, 19 or 20 or something like that. And you'd see, honestly, he seems the same now. We were joking around yesterday during a walkthrough, and I was saying how, uh, I asked OG how young he was. He said 23. I was like, oh, my gosh, you're 23. That's insane. Um, and he's like, Maine's 24. And I'm like, what? Like he's been in the league five years and he's 24. He's gonna hit. He's gonna hit year 10 at 29. Like that's that's wild. Like, but that's that's just Maine, and he has an old soul. You know, he just he came in day one and kind of just quiet and and all that. And obviously, being the the leader of the defense, the middle linebacker, he has to speak up and do that type of stuff. But uh, Maine definitely seems older than what he is, and and um, you know, I think that's why he's gonna play a lot of years in this league and have a long career. Well, I think just the conversations we've had in meetings, talking about, um, I think the the tough losses always come up, and and I say that because we talk about whether if we're going over defense and we talk about a play um, that has you know we we focus in and we talk you know we talk about that play with urgency I guess and you know whether if it's like uh, last play of the game and you know we reference the Arizona play um, or you know just other other plays that have happened over the last five six years well, since we've been here um, I think the young guys understand how how um, you know I guess how how we take it because you know you know with with Poe and Tredavious and I haven't you know been involved with a lot of those plays we kind of just um, they can tell how serious we take them and so um, you know the young guys are definitely learning from that Um, someone that stood out, well, I, like, like you said, it's early, but I would say someone like Cam Lewis always sticks out to me. He's just a guy. He's just a, you know, he's a dog out there. He just is always working, trying to get better. Um, and he's just another guy in our second there that's, that's always working and willing to get better. Keep doing what I do. Um, watching more film on myself and on opponents 
and um, just becoming a better leader. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, of course.